Hey you guys, I'm back again with another mm -hmm. message. Um, God clearly just said to me while I was going back, listening to that last message, he said the attack was out of jealousy. Um, and he confirmed it through scripture, pretty much the attack is out of, um, out of jealousy. Um, people will attack us out of jealousy. Um, like I said before, um, Monitoring spirits are real. Jezebel spirits are real. The spirit of Baal, Marine Kingdom, they will attack God's children out of jealousy. Um, and then I talked about the, the story of the old and the new prophet. But I talked about jealousy before um, in a previous video and how people try to operate, um, how people operate out of jealousy and what they would do. And um, one of the main signs of a jealous spirit is a spirit that will use monitoring spirits okay um and they'll use monitoring spirits to seek after you if that don't work then they will come and they'll try to manifest their self in the actual spirit and this is what a lot of god's children is dealing with during this time and like I said, whenever I had got recently got attacked or not too long got attacked, um, the email title that came across was, um, why are your blessings being held up? And before then, God had gave me a previous message that I've been sitting on that I had to record. I'm going to have to get it out soon. But I've been sitting on it because I've been seeking God for more information because I be wanting God to take me to scripture. And he told me the scripture this morning. But your blessings will come in at the proper time. All right. But God told me to go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. And I got to read this. I got to read Deuteronomy chapter 28 to you guys. Um, and I'm going to read verses 1 through 14. Blessings for obedience. You guys, you got to be very, very obedient in this season, in this hour. I don't care how persuasive people are. All right. People will come as serpents. People will come as a wolf in sheep clothing. Okay. So if you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully keep all his commands, that day I am giving the commands that I am giving you today. The Lord, your God will set you high upon all nations of the world. You will experience all these blessings if you obey the Lord. Your towns and your fields will be blessed. Your children and your crops will be blessed. The offsprings of your herds and flocks will be blessed. Your fruit baskets and your bread, bread boards will be blessed. Wherever you go and whatever you do will be blessed. The Lord will conquer your enemies when they attack you. So you're going to be attacked while you're being obedient. They will attack you from one direction, but they will scatter from you in seven. The Lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do and will, and will fill your storehouse with grain. The Lord, your God, the Lord, your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. If you obey the commands of the Lord, your God and walk in his ways, the Lord will establish you as his holy people as he has sworn he would do then all the nations of the world you will see your people claimed by the lord and they will stand in awe of you the lord will give you prosperity in the land he swore to your ancestors to give to you blessing you with many children numerous livestock and abundant crops the Lord will send rain at the proper time for he is for his rich treasury in the heaven will bless all the work you do. I'm going to read that again. The Lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich treasury in the heavens and will bless all the work you do. It will happen at the proper time. You will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. If you listen to these commands of the Lord, your God, that I am giving you today, and if you carefully obey them, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you will always be on top and not the bottom. You must not turn away from any of the commands I am giving you today, nor after, nor follow an, after another God and worship them. Y'all. The text 
that y'all are experiencing are out of jealousy because like we're in a season of open door. We're in the season of open heaven. And it's about to be the proper time for you to receive your blessings. And God has been telling me this. That's why I had to release another word. Um, but I just been sitting on it wanting God to give me more confirmation. And it will happen at the proper time. People, some people are coming to God's children and saying that um, your blessings are being healed up because this is at third. No, it's not the proper time. God is very, very strategic. And the devil will attack you. And that's how you got to know y'all. God got to know God for yourself. Before a blessing or a breakthrough comes through, the devil will attack you to try to deter you, to try to make you block your own blessings. Had I would have listened to that particular person that tried to make me block my own blessings, I would have ended up like that young prophet. That's what the devil does. When the devil can't block you, when the devil can't block you or stop you, he will try to make you block and stop yourself. So these are some of the signs, you guys, that we know that people are attacking his children during this time, during this hour, out of jealousy. We are in the open heaven season. Like I said, the open heaven, the year of the open heaven, the year of the open door. Even in the Deuteronomy chapter 12, I'm going to read it again. It says, the Lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich treasuries in the heavens. And will bless all the work that you do. We are in the season of open heavens. We are in the season of open doors. So be very, very mindful about these jealousies, the jealousy attacks. Because that's what they are. God clearly said the attack was out of jealousy. Um, people will try to go look up your information and try to bring stuff back to you to try to condemn you. That's not of God. Monitoring spirits are real. And then what God had also told me or shown me about how I was jealousy, because this particular person that was attacking me passively, aggressively, and saying it was from God, they are trying to do the same things that God is telling me to do in this season. And I'm like, okay, God, that's definitely jealousy. Um, that's definitely jealousy. Because, like I said, God showed me the person in the spirit before the attack happened. And then, like, I was praying. I was like, okay, God, like, because um, whenever I get attacked, I ask God, what do I need to learn? What do I need to take from this? Like, because everything is a learning experience if you let it be. And God was just like, it was an attack out of jealousy. Then, this morning, God was like, go because they gave me their information. God was like, go look at their information. And come to find out they're doing the exact same thing that I'm doing or trying to do or what God is trying to tell, what God is, has assigned me to do in this season as far as ministry and business. So we have to be very, very strategic, y'all. So, because some people will try to do, thank you, Holy Spirit. Some people will try to get you to block your blessings so they can do a um, destiny transfer. So if I can get you out the way, if I can get you to move you out the way, that makes room for me. Not so in this season, in this hour. The attacks are out of jealousy and the attacks are out of envy in this season. Okay? So be very careful. Be very mindful. Stay prayed up. Stay fast up. Do what you need to do. But stay in your word. Don't go against what God is telling you. Keep God's commands. Okay? In this season, in this hour, it's imperative because y'all blessings are on the way. All right, you guys. I love you all. I pray that you guys have an amazing day and I will chat with you all later.